Hi Capricorn, we are doing your October 2023 reading. Any information that you need you can find in my description box below. And please do remember to only take what is resonating specifically for yourself. Okay, right, so what is coming in towards our Capricorn Collective, please, for October 2023. Oh, okay, well, hmm, Capricorn, that's not happened for any other sign. Just you. Okay, this this particular deck, it tends not to be a very jumpy deck. So that's why that one took me by surprise there. So I'll just do another... I will not do another few shuffles. Um, it seems to be that that is your message, Capricorn. Right, so... External... No, excuse me. In, inside influences. Okay, I'm getting all confused, Capricorn. I've been reading literally all day. Um, it's been crazy crazy hectic busy okay your internal influences the nine of coins and it's the card of comfort right so this obviously it's it speaks volumes right because it's the nine of coins it shows that the you're standing firm on something it also indicates that a lot of you are really self-made like genuinely self-made Okay, it's the nine of coins. It's someone who's very strong, stable, independent. It's someone who doesn't need anybody else's validation or permission. Okay, um, you, you're living with, with this one. Either you're enjoying a life of comfort or you're working towards it. Okay, um, comfort, luxury, enjoying the finer things in life. Now, this could be showing me your ambitions because it's your inside influences, which is you're, you're focused on this throughout the month of October, whether you're aware that you're doing it or not. OK, um, so, I mean, it, I, I love that energy for you, Capricorn, because it proper is like, I mean, wh whenever I see the nine of coins, I know it's ruled by Virgo, uh, Venus in Virgo, I believe. But it always makes me think of Capricorn energy because it's that um, unwavering determination to be successful and to be uh, not dependent on anybody else, just yourself. The influences that are external to you is the Wheel of Fortune, and this one says karma, fate, karma, destiny, things moving in the right direction, um, you having luck on your side, and it is external to you, which is a really strong nod towards the universal energies, okay? So, it's honestly, with this combination, I can't, I can't see you putting a foot wrong this month, Capricorn. Like, literally, Lady Luck is on your side here once again. You're working towards these goals, and you are going to meet these goals, okay? And then what you don't see coming, strength and bravery. So, you're going to be required to push through with something, all right? Now, that can indicate to me that maybe... A little bit of something might not go the way that you planned it to, but it's still going to end up with a successful result for you. So you need to be brave, persevere and push through. All right. Any, um, any little detours th this month is it, going to be really minor. All right. Really, really minor. I'm just noticing that big dipper in that card as well. See, see that with the big dipper? Uh, I'm getting the message of how some of you, you could you could be taking up like star watching or something like that. That I mean, again, that's not going to resonate for all of you. That's just a small handful of yous. Um, I'm feeling that you're wanting to rush something, Capricorn. And it's going to be wise not to rush this process, but to take it as it comes, okay? You, you, you're not wanting to be uh, tempting fate at this point in time, okay? So you, you've done everything that you can in this situation. Now it's like surrender the rest to the universe okay and and like this message is only for those who know feel well that they've been working hard that they've been pushing themselves to succeed 
okay obviously if you're one of the rare ones that that's just been sitting waiting for something to fall out of the sky then obviously that's not going to happen <laughs> um so yeah i like this energy for you capricorn because it's kind of like the universe is uh revealing its sense of humor to you throughout this month with something that that's what i mean by it's a weird energy it, it, it's almost like the universe is doing something and then it's going to be like ha psych got you here you go here, here here's your thing do you know what i mean it feels a lot like that okay that's a really bizarre message, Capricorn. Right, so we're going to refer back to that energy throughout your tower read. It's under there, the hangman with stillness. Yeah, yeah, be still, Capricorn, okay? You, you've done what you can in this situation. Try not to force anything. Try not to rush anything from this point on. Just take it as it comes, okay? Just take it as it comes. It's coming in towards our Capricorn Collective, please, for October 2023. You have a nine card spread for our Capricorns, please, with advice. It's coming in towards Capricorn. Our high vibe Capricorn Collective, please. Okay, I'm going to try and do three shuffles, Capricorn, but if anything does jump out, I'll do the same again. We do take jumpers, okay? Right, Capricorn Collective, please. Capricorn Collective. There we go. <laughs> well done, Capricorn. Right, the Ace of Cups, your first card out. Wow, an abundance of love. An abundance of feelings, emotions, feeling really, really good here. You've got the Wheel of Fortune that's come out yet again, Capricorn. So listen, mm. there's no room for any self-doubt this month. All right, none at all. You've got the Three of Cups. Now, in this particular context, Capricorn, it looks like there is going to be some kind of celebration. Someone's going to be celebrating you here, okay? If you've put yourself forward for some kind of a promotion, it's indicating that you will be getting that promotion. Um, if, if you've been waiting for the results of something to go in your favor i am seeing that as well okay i am seeing a lot of people being really happy to see you as well capricorn they're getting ready to celebrate you and celebrate with you the king of coins mm -hmm. yep the star the ten of cups do you know what capricorn i'm just gonna stop pulling cards at this point i think we've pulled enough i'm just kidding uh we we, we will need to pull another three cards um this, quite frankly, Capricorn, is the best energy that I have seen uh, that's come out for you in a, a really, really long time. I mean, the past few months has been really, really trying, really trying. And guess what? You're still here. You're still here. And I mean, what, what we see taking place... <sighs> I mean, come on, you've got an apex card there. You've got wish fulfillment, healing, nurturing, rebuilding right there. You've got financial success there as well as your own growth. So you've grown so, so much. I'm hearing over the past 10 months, maybe a wee bit more for some of you. Like you've grown so much as a person and you're starting to see the uh, material, the, the material success follow on from that. Okay, you've got beautiful love here, an, an abundance of love. You've also got uh, peace, hope, and uh, that there's peace, hope, oh, what else is the dove? Peace, hope, and serenity being restored with that dove in that card as well. It's amazing. Okay, the page of wands. The Nine of Wands and the High Priestess. Yeah, you could have quit. You could have quit at any point in time. And for, for some of you, you were literally on the verge of quitting. But there was that something inside of you, that tiny spark, that something that you couldn't quite put words to that um, made you persevere, that made you push through. 
high priestess also. It's your intuition, your higher self, your spirit guides, your ancestors, whichever name you prefer to use. Intuitively, you knew that, that you were on the right path. Even in the face of adversity, you still, because you, I'm, I'm trying to think of the best way to put this, because you were showing great strength in the face of something really difficult, that is why you've succeeded. Yeah. Energy at the bottom of the deck, the Three of Swords, is the card of grief. In this deck, it's called sorrow. That's what you were facing, Capricorn. You were facing that Three of Swords and you faced it head on. Ha, <laughs> the Hierophant. And the Emperor, wow. Wow, how many major arcanas? And the two of cups we love. Okay. Um, you've got a long-term commitment here. So if you're currently single, you're gonna be you're gonna be with your your person, your, your life person. If you're currently already in a connection, then we see a strengthening to that particular connection and a lot of it has to do with the fact that um that, that you're genuinely feeling more hopeful and optimistic now about the future whereas in the more recent past you were feeling quite sort of downtrodden and hopeless about the future there's a complete turnaround here to your energy capricorn it's i mean it's absolutely fantastic it's amazing what you've managed to to pull yourself through I mean, you're different. You, you've, you're a different person now, but that can only be a good thing. We're not supposed to stay the same. Nobody's supposed to stay the same. Can you clarify this Ace of Cups for Capricorn, please? Ace of Cups for Capricorn. Yeah, Ten of Cups. So things were on rocky ground there for a while, okay, with the Ten of Cups coming out off balance. But when you look further down your reading, you've got the Ten of Cups in the upright position. And it's right next to the star, which is healing energy. So you've got some kind of family situation here that is being healed. You've got, you've definitely got a reconciliation, okay. I'm feeling for the majority of you that this is taking place within a family situation, a family is being healed. A family is being reunited. A family is being brought together to celebrate each other here. You clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Thank you. I don't know if you saw that one flip, Capricorn. There was the Ten of Swords there. And look at the context that it's come out in. Remember, this was to clarify your Wheel of Fortune there. And you've had the Wheel of Fortune come out again with the Ten of Swords. Something was supposed to end, wasn't it? Now, for the past few months of me doing you reading Capricorn, it was coming out how you were resilient to release something. You were resilient to uh, resistant. Excuse me, I misspoke. You were resistant to release something uh, because you were holding on to this idea that that you could fix it. That that you and you alone could fix it. So you've now surrendered that. You've let the universe take over and bam, look what's happened. Things all of a sudden are moving in the right direction again. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. I do believe that I misspoke and said the word resilient instead of resisting because you have been resilient throughout like you you have shown so much strength and resolve in not breaking under this particular pressure can you clarify the star for capricorn please thank you yeah nine of cups in reverse you were feeling hopeless 
that's now all in the past. Somebody was being really selfish as well, Capricorn, I feel. They were being selfish towards you. They weren't taking your feelings into account with something here. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Capricorn, please. Thank you. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. It's communication. That's someone being determined to really express themselves in such a manner that it cannot possibly be misunderstood. Okay, so if you feel that you're not yet in this energy, then keep in mind that these reads, they can be predictive in nature. Okay, so if you're still at this stage where, where you're resisting to, to surrender something, then the advice is coming through is, look, surrender it, release it, and the universe is going to take over. Okay, R remember, like, it's all about feeling out the situation that you're in and what is the best way to respond to it, okay? Because sometimes the best way to respond is to, to fight for something, right? Other times the best way to respond is to surrender and release it because it's not within your control. On this particular occasion, Capricorn, if you still haven't released something yet, then do it. Okay, absolutely do it, because then you'll, you'll see this uh, pressure suddenly start to deplete, and, and you'll start to feel lighter as well. Can you tell us more about the Nine of Cups in reverse, please? Tell us more about the Nine of Cups in reverse. Some of you were dealing with an individual who was overindulging off of your paycheck. The two of coins. I love how it's landed right on top of that one. It's like, yeah, this one is to clarify that nine of cups. Nothing else, just this one. Uh, the two of coins, finding your balance, finding your equilibrium, um, managing your financial flow once again for some of you. Okay, and for the others of you, this is going to be more to do with your mental and emotional state. Now, get into a better place. Okay. You no longer feeling like the whole world is against you. And I, I know it can feel that way sometimes, but again, it's like we have to keep things in perspective, don't we? It's like, like sometimes we run into a whole bunch of bad luck, seemingly without any kind of reason at all. You know, sometimes that just happens. And that's where being resilient really does pay off. Okay, it's like riding that wave of bad luck and then lo and behold, the wheels turned again and once again you find yourself at the top of the wheel. In fact, you've got the wheel of fortune out three times. I've only just noticed that. You could be seeing a lot of 333 at this point in time, Capricorn, which is all about co-creating with the universe. Okay, manifesting with the universe and with the universe's blessing as well. you clarify the page of wands for Capricorn, please? Thank you. I think that's reversed. Yeah, the Four of Cups in reverse. Uh, <laughs> I love that one, Capricorn. It's no longer accepting half measures from half measured people. <laughs> you know, it's like you're no longer accepting any kind of uh, shoddiness from individuals um i'm getting the the fact that tardiness really pisses you off as well you know when people are, are late for something when they made the appointment in the first place like that that really irks you so you're taking that uh for example you you're taking that sort of thing now um more seriously than, than you would have done in the past because it's telling you a lot about who they are as a person and whether or not they respect your time okay if that makes sense um th this is literally you choosing happiness all right you're accepting certain things for basically for the way that they are but you're not allowing it to get you down either because it's to clarify the page of wands 
And the page of wands is someone who is naturally really, really excited. That uh, they're, they're quite cheeky and funny and ambitious, and you know, it's it's like a, a lovable rogue type energy with this particular page of wands. Um, so you're not allowing other people to change who you are as a person. Okay. It's just that it's changing up the way that you, uh, how do I say, it's, ch it's changing up the way that you interact with them, rather. So you, you're no longer taking uh, people's poor behavior towards you as a personal attack against you. Because you, you, know, you know now that that's not it it's just literally they are telling you exactly who they are as a person and they're not they're not saying anything about you at all okay so again yeah were you choosing this happiness and, and no longer immediately jump into to this uh thought of oh that person treated me like crap because i must have I don't know, encouraged it or deserved it or something. You know, like, you're doing away with that. You are doing away with that. Can you tell us about the High Priestess for Capricorn, please? Hmm. I didn't quite see what card that was. You had one that flipped and then it changed its mind. Tell us about the High Priestess, please. Thank you. Nice big jump. Yeah, Four of Swords. Some of you have proper gotten into your meditations, or you will be getting into your meditations. Okay, your four of swords is rest, rejuvenate, reevaluate, reconsider, meditate, uh, go within. You know, it's, it's all that good stuff. It's kind of like uh, the, the hermit energy, but to a lesser degree. Okay, that's your four of swords. It's, um, it, it's sitting with something in quiet contemplation and really trusting in your instincts and your intuition on what the best thing to do is. Okay, so again, if you're not quite at that point yet, then you're going to be in this energy. You've also got the triple moon goddess. Uh, so some of you have been following the cycles of the moon, or you should be following the cycles of the moon to, to help you out with um, manifesting, okay? Some kind of moon rituals, and then you've got the page of cups at the bottom of the deck, right? So that could be an apology for some of you, especially for those of you who are dealing with a family situation that is being reunited. Yes, you could very well be seeing an apology. I feel that this is more to do with you. Some of you really diving into your creativity and then you've got the Ace of Cups under there. And you started off your read with the Ace of Cups. What's underneath that one? The lovers. Yeah, there's new love that's coming in for some of you. Brand new love. Okay. Page of Cups, Ace of Cups and the lovers. But yeah, the Ten of Coins. That's your one. That's your person. If you feel that you haven't met your person yet, then you will be meeting your person throughout this month. Maybe you met your person last October. Maybe only now this is coming into uh, some kind of union. Someone's coming into a union. And it, it, it's going to last them with that ten of coins. That's the card of generations, stability, security. It can be generational wealth. Some of you have been building up your generational wealth. Your three of swords for your hierophant is a painful lesson, a painful teacher. So some of you are probably dealing with a karmic situation here. Remembering that the word karmic, it just means soul lesson. Okay. And then the emperor, you've come out the other side of this, like even more determined than how you went in to the situation in the first place. So, like, not to give whoever or whatever this was that potentially almost destroyed you any credit. I'm not giving them any credit. I'm just saying that it, it has actually legit made you a lot stronger and a lot more resilient. Okay, I'm not giving them credit. I'm giving you the credit because you're the one that deserves the credit not them or that situation okay
You have a healing message for Capricorn, please. Healing message for Capricorn, please. Okay, so I'll have to do another shuffle because none of them wanted to jump. A healing message for Capricorn, please. Okay, so you've got two. Uh, doable, the key is within your grasp, and Samadhi, perfect acceptance. Okay, so we're going to take that one as your fill healing message, and we're going to do this one as your intuitive message, because we are running out of time. Okay, so doable. Something that you're wanting to do, Capricorn, is within your grasp. Okay, remember, a key that can lock things away or it can open something okay you have the key here in your hands capricorn what are you going to do with it all right your next ambitious project or whatever this is pertaining to specifically for you your next relationship whatever it is is perfectly doable right the, the key is I'm not going to say it's within your grasp. I'm going to say Capricorn with the, th the Wheel of Fortune coming out three times. The key's already in your hand. It's just a matter of using the tools and the abilities that you have wisely. Okay, right, number 29. Let me see. Okay, Samadhi, perfect acceptance. The girl of Samadhi is not distracted by the sharp thorns, nor is she distracted by the beauty of the flowers and the pearls of life as they cluster around her. She is tranquil and deeply merged within the essence of oneness and acceptance. Samadhi teaches that when you give up being a perfectionist, life is suddenly perfect. So you stopped putting so much pressure on yourself, Capricorn. That's why you're seeing a release of this pressure that's been in your energy for a while. Uh, consider that your life in this moment is purely a reflection of your own consciousness. Everything is exactly the same as it was yesterday. It is your mindset that has shifted. And this is for, uh, and this is for better and for worse, for what you resist tends to persist. Yeah, we clocked that early on in your read, didn't we? That, that you, in in the more recent past, you, you were resisting releasing something. Uh, however, with Samadhi here, there is no better and there is no worse. Everything just is. It is a beautiful place to be. Allow yourself this kindness in this moment and embrace Samadhi. Everything will find its place around you in the inevitable present moment, except everyone and everything and every situation as being exactly as it's meant to be right now. <laughs> yeah. So it's like you, you were getting hurt, Capricorn, because of this um, either innate desire or feeling of internal responsibility that you had to control everything but now you've learned that not to be true it's beautiful what a what a really nice way to end your reading there capricorn uh, but yeah that is what i have for you guys i just really hope that it's helped someone um please don't forget to click the like button so that you can stay engaged with the channel and also uh, the personal readings they can be booked at phoenixkiataro.com or you can check out my description box if you would prefer to use the link for the website that I've provided you instead. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.